I'm Emily Caudle and I'm the senior student senator for Letcher County Central High School. Hannah Boggs is my junior senator. For our student senate plan for the 2019-2020 school year, we wanted to identify the needs of our school. We conducted informal surveys with students, teachers, and community members and used those results to come up with our plan. We focused our plan mainly upon community involvement, student voice, and education. Today I'm going to be talking about student voice and student culture. Student ambassadors, student voice is very important at LCC. The Student Senate will continue to work with the administration team to develop a leadership team. Student Senate will work with other student groups to do a morning announcements. Next, I'm going to talk about education. Attendance is an issue in the forefront of our school. The Student Senate members work with PBIS and school staff to improve our attendance rate. The Student Senate provided classes for this targeted group. The classes were completed and we were going to be able to practice what they learned, but schools were closed before the activity could take place. Next, the Student Senate sponsored a book club in conjunction with the ESS. Students met once a week to read and discuss books that have been assigned. The purpose of the book club is to foster the love of reading and also provide students that might not have access at home. Students also had the opportunity to travel to, Bar to Barter Theater in Abingdon, Virginia for a play-based book that they read. Our community has many families that are in need, so we wanted to try to address as many concerns as we could. We also paired with several other organizations to host our annual Veterans Day program at LCC. Hannah and I also serve as liaisons for our outdoor classroom we were able to build with our Community Challenge Grant, and one of the things we are most proud of is the OWL release that we got to do with our 4-H. We also had several classes lined up to use the outdoor classroom in this school year, but since we're at home, we're hoping next year will be COVID-19 free and they will be able to use that.